You're going to have to submit your application for absentee voting by 1159 PM tomorrow night. And as our Abby Lutz found out today, the deadline is leading to some pretty busy days for some voter registration offices in southern Indiana. 757. That's how many ballots the Clark County Voter Registration Office sent out just on Tuesday. The Clark County Clerk says that's the most they've ever mailed out in just one day. We did not see this kind of volume in 2016. Definitely not in the primary. The coronavirus crisis has pushed back Indiana's primary election. It's also seemed to ramp up the amount of voters requesting absentee ballots. Clark County Clerk Susan Pop says her office has encouraged voting by mail. Just for the health and safety of not only the voters, but then, uh, you know, the people that will be at the precincts on election day. But the uptick in absentee voting isn't the only thing the pandemic is changing this year. You'll also see a lot of new additions at the polls. We have electronic poll pads to wipe that surface off. We have face shields for the workers. We have actually barriers for when the voters come in. All of that will be used on Election Day and for early voting, which starts next week. Pop says for Clark County, early voting will be in a tent outside the courthouse. This will be much more open and we feel like we can social distance much better outside. Though the high volume of absentee voting, Pop says, could yield smaller crowds in person, she still wants to make sure everyone gets the chance to vote. We will do whatever it takes to make people feel comfortable and to know that we're taking this seriously, that we don't want anyone to be disenfranchised and feel like they can't come and vote because it wouldn't be safe. Before the deadline on Thursday, you can also request an absentee ballot online. That's something that's new for this year's primaries here in Indiana, and Pop says it's really helped to streamline the process. I'm in Southern Indiana, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.